Hi, welcome to the part 31 of this video series. In this part, we are looking at some more questions. Please hit the subscribe button. Let's jump into the questions. See, the first question is talking about monitoring threats by using sensors. Okay, so let's scan through the options. The first one is Azure Monitor. See, Monitor, primarily, if you see it is used so that your services are up and running and it constantly monitors the activities of various services so that there is no downtime. That is a purpose. Security is not the primary purpose. So you can detect the issues you can see if there is a correlation between the infrastructure issues so suppose an application is using a vm okay and a database so if the database goes down the application will also go down because there is no data to fetch and display on the web application so that is what i mean by correlation so what monitor does is if the database goes down it is smart enough to say hey you know what since the database went down your application will be down only because it is dependent on that so it will define that correlation so monitor will not help you with threats that is security now let's look at security center security center is now called defender for cloud so you should remember it may be in the exam they may use this latest terminology or they may still use security center so don't get confused that this is a new service this is not a new service so this is a centralized tool to manage the security posture of your organization it will constantly give you recommendations so that a continuous access secure and defend activity will be going on so primarily monitoring threats by using sensors is not something which security center does but let's park this for now let's look at ad identity protection See, in nutshell, it is primarily for identity based risks, which means if one person was supposed to access it, someone else is trying, it will reject. So, this is this question monitoring threats is not related to you know, someone else trying to get in. So, just like as your monitor is wrong uh, this is also wrong the last one ATP see ATP is now called Microsoft Defender for identity okay it is different from security center which is Microsoft Defender for cloud this is Microsoft Defender for identity so it is same it was formerly called ATP Advanced Threat Protection. So remember both the names because it might happen in the question they have not changed it. See what it does now. From it will work based on signals from your on premises Active Directory. So it gets signals and then what this signal does is it will help them identify detect and investigate advanced threats or compromised identities or any malicious insider action maybe that guy is an employee but he chose to ditch the company and maybe delete or truncate some production tables so this is what we need right monitor threads using sensors means it's basically some signal it should receive so ATP is the right answer 
let's look at the second question enforce mfa based on a condition hmm. see here it clearly says you know active directory mfa registration policy so the identity protection it will help organizations roll out multi-factor authentication using conditional access policy and this is what we require here because it says uh, enforce MFA based on a condition perfect so we got our answer so this is our final answer see here they are saying what can you use to identify underutilized or unused VMs so for example you have multiple VMs okay out of which this is utilized good this is utilized good but this is underutilized this is underutilized you want to identify these two folks how will you do it let's go from bottom the first one says as your policy will as your policy work see common sense you are creating a policy because you want to implement an organization standard the standard can be that any vms nobody should be able to create a vm which is large in size which supports gpu so you can create a policy but this question doesn't say so this question is about identifying unused vms so this is wrong as your reservations see it is a money saving tool you can commit for example these vms we are talking now if you want to save your cost then you go for as your reservations so but you will have to commit for one year or three years there are multiple plans okay and committing allows you to get a discount but do we need to save cost here and is the question saying so indirectly yes when you identify underutilized resources underutilized vms you might say that let's instead of four vms let's operate with three vms but the reservation is not required here directly because it will not help you identify which vms are unused see cost management and billing when will it help suppose you have these four vms now and some loads are going on you want to know that is it possible that i can reduce my cost even further is that possible so it will help you uh, reduce the risk of potential wastes and inefficiencies it is a suite of tools <laughs> provided by microsoft and it will help you analyze manage and optimize the cost of your workloads this is very important in real life we use this because we constantly want to know uh, is there any way to become more miser and save money with our workloads but again this is not going to probably help you with identifying which vms are uh, no, underutilized i think this may not help but let's look at advisor first see for this question advisor is the app service it will reduce so this is an uh, article on the web so how to reduce service costs by using advisor and this is exactly matching to what our question is asking optimize virtual machine spend by resizing or shutting down underutilized instances so now you will say where does he say it identifies uh, underutilized vm so here it says advisor identifies resources that have not been used all over the last seven days and makes recommendation to shut them down so we got our answer 
uh, let's look at this one you have several virtual machines and you create a new subscription hmm. so what will happen you have these four options the first one let's look it says virtual machines whatever is there in the existing subscription it cannot be moved to the new subscription which is wrong see uh, technically even if you understand it or not understand it nobody will create such service that you cannot move the resources from one subscription to other subscription so this is wrong for me second one says virtual machines can be moved to the new subscription see yes you can move it this this is perfect because otherwise cloud won't create such service huh? third one says virtual machines can be moved to the new subscription only if they are in the same resource group see we know resource group is a logical grouping of the resources it does not matter whether resources are in the same resource group or different resource group or no resource group does not matter it will move just like mother if the child is uh, white black short tall fat thin mother will accept happy mother's day by the way so similarly virtual machines and subscriptions also work same way so this is wrong for sure and the last one says you can only move if they are running on windows server no you can move even if they are using linux uh, rhel ubuntu uh, or other operating systems whatever is supported by azure so this is the final answer see cost management this all three questions are linked with cost management so can you view cost associated to management groups resource groups or just the usage of vms in the last 3 months all are yes you can do all three of them so let's look at this one your company has so many business units like uh, you have hr you have it you have sales hmm. so and each business unit has each business unit they have 20 different as your resources for daily operation so this one will have some 20 resources this one will have 20 this one will have 20 you need to create a solution to automate the creation of these resources see automation of resource creation basically it's as simple as it is whenever you want to use automation of resources resource creation use templates arm templates this is infrastructure as a code service you can use this so this is the final answer so this is a no brainer which service provides serverless whenever you think of serverless functions this is virtual machine is used for server hosting it is not serverless it is server full storage account it is a blob storage it is not serverless dedicated host for sure is not serverless it is server full as your functions provides you serverless compute it will simplify serverless app development this is the final answer please hit the subscribe button i'm putting in lot of effort to create these videos a subscribe and a like will help me motivate and post many more such contents this brings us to the end of part 31 see you in the next part bye